Oh man. What's up guys? This is Team Hardlock Captain Albert Sakucha and I am here. Uh, I am trying to find our channel. <laughs> Just walked in from working in the back, been out there pretty much all day except the bit that was up here getting organized. Yeah, we if you if you haven't been to the shop since last week to this week, it's gonna be a drastic amount of change. So we are definitely gonna keep it rocking and go from there. Wait for a few of y'all to get on there. What's up, John, Joseph, Steve, Homer, Jose? Buenos dias a todo. Todos están que están aquí. And here we go. I don't speak very well Spanish. A little bit, un poquito, pero. Uh, no we'll stop this guy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Miguel, Mr. FTW, how are you doing guys? Alright, so I've got a small unboxing video. Um, a customer had a real ship directly to us from Taco Direct, I guess it is. Yeah, Taco Direct for us to spool up. Uh, also too, he gave us some instructions on how he wanted to spool, or a request on how much he wanted to spool. Jeff, you didn't put that paper over here? Oh, not yet, bro. That was Jeff, not me. <laughs> <laughs> We're always so hurt over here, but we don't stop. Oh, there you go. Well, we got a $15 coupon off, so I'll send that back. Ooh. $350 for this reel. Let's see what we got here. Down like six inches. Pull, pull on that side. The way I got it is I looked for the pattern of it being moved around and scraped up. This one didn't have any pattern there, so it showed me that it wasn't there, and this one didn't have anything except in the middle. So that's how I figured it out. <laughs> I'm looking at this full size and I'm thinking it's about size of like an MXJ. Mm -hmm. But it's 
taller. Yeah. All right, we'll see. That's a very cool. Thing. One way to find so, out. Go what? One way to find out. Yep, only one way to find out. So, all right, guys. Um, it is 621. Tuesday is our day, so we can start our uh, raffle. Um, we've got a potential sponsor coming in. We called, they, we talked with them today. They are interested in what we are doing with this. They're doing their own deal with the Toys for Tots. However, they're still interested in helping us out. So um, I'm getting it together and I will put a proposal up to them probably next week just because, like I said, we're kind of a little shorthanded and I'm gonna put in the hours needed to make it happen. So, yep, uh, Lewis, Patrick, and Brandon, what's up guys, how you doing? So that's what we're on to. Also too, um, it is Tuesday, so we are gonna sell tickets. We'll give it till, we'll give it an hour, you know, a little more than an hour. We'll go to 7.30, 7.30 be the cutoff. So if y'all are interested in the fire drawing, Yep, oh, I'm reading comments, it's high tide and raining in Port A and windy and nice cool air, so that's cool. Camilo, what's up guys? How you doing? Uh, I was in the back pouring weights, so I'm going to give you a little video of what we were doing there. I wanted to jump on that, but I know if we are going to sell tickets, I'm not going to be able to concentrate on that. So let's do this. I'm going to show you all what I was already working on. So we got pyramid weights right here that have done, gone through the first step of breaking up. And what I mean is they start l like that and they end up on the next one. And then I've got weights upon weights, upon weights, upon weights. So yeah, three buck, well, about three buckets of the uh, three ounce. And I say buckets, I mean, three ounce obviously sit lower in the bucket than the twos because the twos are more spread out because of the way they're poured. The threes, they poured them, and though that mold it sits them real close. But yeah, we're gonna have a lot of weight to deal with today, and so I'm still gonna do the drawing. Let me get set up over here. Is it blurry? Is it blurry on there? I did not get to make it out this past weekend, boss. I didn't. Um, I did see while driving out, I saw a couple of guys pulling out streams, a load of reds and black drum. I know they're starting to roll in. So in preparations with that, we are stocking up our double drop drum leaders, or double drop improved drum leaders, pompano rigs. I mean, they did catch a five and a half pound pompano. Seven pound. Yes, seven and a half. Oh, my bad. Seven and a half pounds. That's what I told you. They beat the state record. I thought you said five and a half. Yeah. Whoa. Who caught it? A friend of Corey's. Corey, you need to oh, right. chime in when he, he, he chimed in talking about going to get beers and that was the last time I saw him on the channel. He got drunk. So they already have it certified? No, or? they didn't know which one actually related. Oh! <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> so uh, I think he blamed his wife. Oh man. Telling them sooner. Ouch. 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 Alright guys, so I am going to start cleaning my weights. Let me get my stuff together for the drawing. Yeah, currently for our Christmas drawing, we are sitting at... $280 for the Christmas drawing right there. $20 buy-in. However many tickets we can sell between now and December 15th is what it'll go for. We got a first place at 50%, second place at 30%, and third place at 20%. Our military Christmas family uh, donation still is at $941.50. We've had multiple donations of where they won the fire pot and actually donated that back into this. 
And yes, we got that going as well as our Secret Santa deal going on as well. Um, that one we're up to $592.50. And yep, doing it up. So, um, bluegrass, did they come pick them up? Yes, they did. Right. The, no, I had to move them because oh. I was on the shirt and they never showed up. Dang it. All right. Well, Bluegrass, if you're out there, boss, um, we got your gear finally boxed up. I threw in uh, some extra goodies because that was on us. We didn't get it boxed up in a timely manner. So I went ahead and threw in some extra weight, some extra goodies, and... You can play me. <laughs> yeah, play him. <laughs> he actually had to work. Yeah, I had to work, man. So, whoa, 12-foot hammer. What? Hold on. Good find out. What? 12 foot hammer at the Packery? Yeah, me and him gave him the same look. Yep, we didn't hear that. Inside the channel? Mm, no, they're just saying. Who said that? Hold on, who's saying that? Joseph, who told you that? Because me and, me and Jeff just gave up. Yeah, that look, you just saw. Yeah, we don't know anything about it, so. Yeah, I hadn't heard anything either. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start up on this, and I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because when the pyramids, when dealing with all of this, I don't like to have to deal with them one at a time. I like to have it already done before I trim it off the tree. So I'll do that. But in the meantime, guys, like I said, tickets are going. You can cash app to dollar sign Team Hard Life to get into the drawing. We are setting that up. 15% uh, of the winnings of the fire drawing will get donated to our Christmas family uh, fundraiser. And like I said, our sponsors are looking at helping us out with that. So this will be a great opportunity to show them the strength of the channel, guys. So let's go and get this fire drawing going. Uh, I'm gonna continue breaking weight. And yeah, man, we've been hit with a few different items today. 12 foot hammer, seven and and it's seven and a half pound pump. So that's what he says, seven and a half. They got pictures of it all. He got, he got to hold it. But he don't have it on a scale or anything? He, he, no, I don't know if he did or not. He didn't show us the scale. Hmm. I would have to get with Corey. Yeah. That's all I know. They, they come in there and declare your face. That's what he did today. I was like, what? Said, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, caught a nice pump 21 and a half inches. And, uh, he goes, played it, then realized that I, I had waited, and my wife comes and tells me the state record was six and a half, or five and a half. Is it five and a half or six and a half? Because you beat it by a pound, yeah. Jeez. And she told me it was. So it are they sure it was a pump and not a permit? The, the permit root? has the fin, the long extra fin, right? Uh, different color as well. All right. The, those African permits or whatever, yeah, they, we've seen a few of those come by, and those are monster, like. Yeah, but, the, the, but 21 and a half. Yeah. That's that, about the pump size, so big pump. That's huge. All right, John, kick this ball off. Good job, bro. He got the first ticket. Ticket's right here. And all right, guys. So just kind of give y'all a little heads up right there. Um, we've got some old tickets from old drawings. They're not filled out, but I'm going to use those up first before I continue on the roll. Um, you never know. Those could be the lucky ones right there. So, and All right. All right, John, there is your ticket right there. <laughs> it's actually from one of the old, old uh, drawings, but it has your name on it. So it's still good. I'm going to go ahead and use that so I don't have to rewrite it out. But that is your ticket. I don't know if that one was a pass to anyone, but it is a current ticket now. So, um, I'm a little disorganized over here because I have an organized table and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's throwing me for a loop, like seriously. 
I'll tell you what, it really, really like sent me into panic mode because a lot of my paperwork that I needed to fill out or have questions answered for my customer, I didn't know where it went or anything. So I was in a bit of panic mode, not even gonna lie. Um, okay, now I don't have no bags. You got any of the four by sixes there? Or? Oh, oh, yeah. You want one of these will work? That's fine. That's fine. All right. So my source hasn't heard nothing about 12 foot hammer out of Packery. Uh, we hadn't heard anything either. Um, got a drop for a bit. I hop back on an hour or so. All right, Daniel, we'll see you back in a bit, bro. And I need marker there's a marker right there all right so we're at twenty dollars right now for the current buy-in on the fire raffle let's see what we got there we nope ain't lose it not yet ah so how's everybody's day going we like i said we've been pouring a lot of lead like a lot of lead. I am, uh, y'all saw me kind of get the weights last night on the, the lid that I broke apart. And like I said, it was a rough estimate, but it's pretty close. It gives us, we always over pour and whatever is extra, we just put it on our shelves for the next go around. Um, but for the most part, we are there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up. And what I'm doing is taking off the slag off the right and left side of the weight. As you can tell, it kind of starts off like this and then but I like to do it when it's on the stem when it's on like this because I can clean two at a time or three at a time or four at a time just depending on how many are on the, the, the tree you know I like that better I don't like this one by one crap but they we broke it apart before they they cleaned them off like that so it's all right all right and I haven't heard anything ping off on the cash app yet. Well, I'm on the phone. Hello. So let me get off that real quick. Check cash app. And nothing on the cash app. So we're giving it till 7.30, guys, on this fire drawing. Oh, man. It already had my name on it. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. another driver who, who was the driver and how did he know about it I don't know yeah my swords hadn't heard nothing about 12 and a back right now and weren't you out there fishing today to uh, Mr. FTW Man, and whoever, if they did it today, man, they really put up with some bad weather. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I, I would shake their hand and be like, y'all nuts. <laughs> Easter girl. Even, even today, well. Or jet ski. Yeah, jet ski maybe. Drone, I don't know. But then again, too, if the waves have been real big, the, the sharks would be right up close. He caught it on a cast out. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Garcia. Yeesh. Big time. Yep. Yeah. Dang, you were at work and it was pouring all day, bro. Mm. Right now, it is crappy, crappy weather. On and off, rain, drizzle, hard rain, light rain, <laughs> windy. Temperature is kind of dropping a little bit, but not too much. Still feels very good outside. <laughs> Dang it. I've got some pretty good ones for if it wasn't for a fishing deal. <laughs> What's up, guys? Drew, how you doing, boss? KTM. We are doing our, our fire drawing for Tuesday. We are up to $20. John started it off, and we're going to see how this goes. Like I said, guys. I'd like to show show our power today because we are going to be using the channel to get more sponsors for the um, for the family event. 
um, they called, we got in contact today and they basically said I gotta submit an email to them letting them know how, when, what, and why kind of deal. And once I do, you know, they kind of changed over and they saw my Facebook and they said, oh nice, 5,000 friends or 6,000. I was like, it's not the one you should be looking at. You should look at my YouTube. And they're like, oh, YouTube? And I was like, yeah. So we were talking there and she looked up and she said, oh wow, 20,000. I was like, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> So, yeah, I let Dallas just pull them dry until I got to Navas, Navasota. Yeah, am I reading that? Navasota? Don't know. It might be the autocorrect on there. Well, the first one in the country to get a CD Pro. Oh, wow. Well, so when they bought it back, did they at least give you an upgrade or something? Hey, Brandon, our deepest condolences to you and your family, bro. Sorry that has happened, uh, and we'll definitely keep calling our prayers. Maybe they caught that 12 foot hammer on a Zepco 202. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd give it a 303. I, I give it, I'll give it a 303, but not a 202. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, 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 also, remember I was talking about the, let me see, let me go back to my email real quick, guys, because there's one in here, and if I can find it real quick, there's another, I was kind of, the guys that do the, the handles and stuff like that, you can start putting in your requests there, and they will give you free shipping, and probably some other things, I got to check real quick to see exactly what he put on there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'd love to put to a point. Let's see, let me find it real quick. Yeah, they will get a discount code, which results in free shipping for any of the products you gotta order. Um, they have the Avid handles for the SX, LX, JX, MX, HX, single speed and two speed reels. They have the Hard Life uh, fish cooler bag, insulated leak proof soft capsule, collapsible kill bag, 48 inch by 20 inch by 12 inch, about 95 quarts with drain and yeah that's pretty cool okay so where's the All right, so the discount code, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. I'm gonna type it in, guys, so there's no mistake in it. Yeah, 
guys so if you go to the real power handles website and I'm gonna copy that over real quick so y'all can see it So that's the website that it's offering y'all free shipping on any of the items that y'all purchase. Um, like I said, they got the different aluminum handles of different sizes and you know they got the adapters for them and stuff like that. So that way you can start upgrading your Avid reels. Um, and they also do it for other kind of reels as well. So it don't have to only be restricted to Avid. Um, however, if you put that code in, letting them know, obviously, that you saw it here and stuff like that, they will give you free shipping on your items, and that will be pretty cool for y'all. So, when y'all get a chance, go and check them out. Let them know where you got it. So, um, they are also looking at sending us more gear so we can start checking out and testing out here. Um, these handles, I know, have been around for a long time. It's just nobody wanted to give me the information of where they were, and so... One of our subs actually turned me on to it, and now we are rocking and rolling with them. So I'm glad that's there because I am definitely ready to upgrade my handles on my reels. Uh, I haven't done it yet because one, I don't have it enough to do all my reels, and then two, I've been working in the back. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I got it. Okay. two boats that's a talk about a lot of maintenance right there mm. Damn it. hey guys it's 644 and we're still only at 20 bucks for our weekly drawing man times are hard Remember guys, 15% of the winnings go to our Christmas family fundraiser right there. Uh, so. <laughs> so might be missing for a while. All right. Well, it's a while, so we at least know when to expect you back. If not, we can send the Coast Guard out for you be slaying all the fish while he's out there. <laughs> no, come back in a week. <laughs> mm. Hey, 
So what are you catching up there, uh, Drew? time that's for sure so are you out there to bring home fish or are you out there to just to have fun of vacation just to get away from your vacation <laughs> or recover from your vacation. <laughs> I can kind of get situated with everything that I got going right now. Maybe I'll think of a boat. I don't know. I got the only way I'll invest in a boat if I know I'm going to be able to put it to work. If I can't put it to work and I have it just sitting there in one trip a month, it's not going to cut it for me. I definitely want to be able to put it out two or three times minimum a month. What's up, CJ? How you doing? Yep, so we started the fire drawing, guys. We're only at one ticket so far. We're only giving it till 7.30, guys. Like, uh, you can pay via here as a super chat and or through Cash App to dollar sign Team Hard Life. And please put on there your cell phone number and if it's for the fire drawing and or for the Christmas drawing, because we are doing both. While y'all are talking about that, I am over here cleaning weights. Let's see, let me take it down just a little bit. See if that is really all kind of what I'm doing here. Two elephant pants right there. Dang. One day I'll make it out to the PEI Islands and go out for some big old thousand pounders and stuff, obviously. Those guys can definitely make some serious, serious money out there. kind of job did she have that she had gotten one of those uh, 100 ton license like that? That's a big fish right there. Hmm. 64 inch or 79 inch tuna. Is 
try to catch that. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully the drawings are still alive because I'm not feeling too confident right now, guys. Let's see. All right, several. Awesome. He got two tickets, so we're up to $60 on the fire raffle. Oh, I'm going to use these. Like I said, I'm going to finish off these old tickets so I can get them out here. Alright, so there are your two tickets right there. We're at $60 for the fire drawing. We are going till 7.30, guys, so you'll have 39 more minutes to get in it. Remember, 15% of all the winnings will be donated to our fire, our, our family drawing, or not family drawing, our family fundraiser, where we are going to be looking to supply 20 families with uh, gifts for Christmas that will be filling the needs category more than the wants category. So, double click boat and main. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, what's up, blankety blank? How you doing? We're up to $60 on the fire drawing. It's going to 7.30. Pretty quick tonight, like I said. I'm breaking weights here, trying to get ahead. But I'm doing one extra step tonight compared to last night. Last night I just broke them apart because they were bank weights. The bank weights, I can't really do this step of preparation on it just because they have so many curves. These have straight lines, so I can actually do this step pretty easily and effectively because I can pick them both at a time and do it. Um, yeah, so. All right, now that he's got his tickets, reply there. We are good to go. So we are up to $60 on the fire raffle. Let's see, KKM and Main, I fish all the way down to Main. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's a wide range of fishing right there. Yes, sir. Like I said, guys, at the end of the day, we are raising money for our Christmas family fundraiser. Um, we're looking to adopt 20 families with that. We got, you know, like I said, that phone call earlier was pretty cool to have it with them. Jeff was like, man, how'd you get that one? And I was like, well, I know how to spit a little game, you know, so. pretty cool once we are confirmed with them and once we are then we'll let you know what they got going because they are also doing a uh, Thanksgiving feast as well and also too uh, they are doing a, a toys drive for the uh, uh, Toys for Tots deal with the Marine Corps that they they like to show support and stuff so, like I said I used to do that but when I would go give the coins, it just felt a little bit impersonal, and I want to. I'd like to be able to share the smiles and everything that we can see on these all these kids' faces right now. So, yep. Hot news. All right, hot news on the chart. Okay, so I'm assuming you said got news. Right on. That's what I'm saying. When's the next drawing for that uh, that Mega Millions or whatever it is? Bought some tickets the other night, but I need I know I need to go buy some more today. Uh, hey, I'm game for that too, man. With me. I want I want I want him. I want him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, so I got time to get some tonight and maybe some tomorrow. Spread out the love, you know what I'm saying? All right, Russell, what do we got there? Russell for the fire drawing, okay. So we're up to $80 on the fire. There we go. Got you, blankety blank. Well, I'm gonna put it under blankety blank because that'll be easiest way for me to confirm it. Uh, 
There you go. Blankety, got you. There's your ticket right there. So we are up to $80 in the fire drawing. It's going to be over at 730. Come on, guys. Let's get it up there. Need y'all's help. Need y'all's help. Boom, got it. Let's see. So foreign guy caught it and he was pulled in so the plant rescue went after him. <laughs> are, you, are you talking on speakerphone to <laughs> get that on there, Joseph? <laughs> Might have to call him on the phone to, to get the proper score on that one. So, let's see. Let me call him real quick. Hey, so what is all that? So he was on a barge when he caught, and he, so it's, oh, so he, he caught it from a barge, so, so that means he, no, he's in the harbor. Uh huh. So he hooked into it, he didn't land it. <laughs> Everybody saying caught means, <laughs> he caught him more like. <laughs> So that's way different than the Patrick. No wonder we didn't hear about it. <laughs> I figured you were talking through that, the like speaker thing so I could text for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, let me let me get everybody up, up to speed over here. All right, later. All right. So the scoop is, he was driving a truck and he saw the bunch of the uh, like the fire rescue in the harbor. This is the, sh the main harbor of Corpus Christi Harbor. Um, they were flying by him, you know, with all the lights going and everything. So he knows one of the drivers, and he said that one of the guys on the barges that was fishing um, got pulled in by a big hammer. So that's as far as he knows. I was like, uh, well, then if he got pulled in, that didn't mean that doesn't mean he caught the hammer. The hammer, the hammer, the hammer caught him. Yeah. So uh, he should find out more information here later or um, tomorrow dinner during their new safety brief. <laughs> yeah, I know how that works. Anytime anybody gets hurt or does something, that they have to send emergency crews out there. That yeah, that's what ends up going on. So. All right. We never had a safety meeting after mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's cool, KTM, that they do that. Yeah, yeah no, normally, like on ours, we wait till uh, right around Christmas time, you know, those last couple of weeks to do it, but I am starting this early. Cause like I said, you know, uh, everybody asked a few times and I kind of pushed it off, but then something inside me told me to go ahead and jump on it. So I jumped on it and we're gonna see how this goes. So we are starting our Christmas fundraiser already with that. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Yeah, let's see. 
What's up, John? How you doing, boss? We're up to eighty dollars on our fire our fire drawing for tonight. Remember, fifteen percent of those winnings get donated to our fundraiser there, guys. So it's a good thing. Jacob from Jacked Up Leatherworks in the house. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, Papa? Hope you're having a good day. We are up to $80 on our fire drawing, guys. And we're going till 7.30. You all have 29 minutes to get in on this or you're going to miss out. We're all going to miss out. Yeah, we definitely need your support. Let's see. Let's see. Good afternoon, Angel. How you doing? Go ahead. You got us? Yeah. We don't have anything to drink in the fridge? Just the water, sir. No! Hmm? Uh, I swear to God, I talked about you when I left to go. Well, I mean, when you came back? Yeah. Well, I got the receipt. I can look at the time. Okay. Uh, I already did the clock in the water. All right. Uh, Think you got time to make that that drive? If I, huh? If I give you it for the round? Uh, I got some gas. I'm gonna ease. Well, they have well, gas there. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive there too. Huh? So it's expensive there too. This is extra life. What did I do with the uh, bills from earlier? Did I put them in my pocket? Well, I got earplugs from Jack Henry. <laughs> um, how about a cash app? Okay. Uh, oh, where's mine? All right, let's see. The fellow walks in covered in two we want to reach for to increase capacity to over 10 years. <laughs> Blankety nailed it, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Must have chained up his wife's holiday rose print. The mid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was early. Jaws ain't supposed to be hooked up until Thanksgiving. They, they were a bit early to be pulled in by a shark. <laughs> and I want to know is how did they confirm it was a shark? Did they actually see it or are they just assuming? <laughs> Let's see. All right. We got 25 more minutes about for the fire raffle, guys. We're up to $80. Be a small one, man. What is on? What's going on? So, I'm almost done with my first trade, too, which is good. And actually, I'll go ahead and break them apart now. So I don't have to uh, have too much piled up on me. Exactly. How do they know? Like, so, like he said, he, he only got a little bit of information from them. As soon as he knows more, he'll let us know, but yeah. All right. There's Jacob with Jacked Up Fire, uh, Jacked Up Fireworks. <laughs> Jacked Up Leatherworks has made his uh, contribution to the fire drawing. We're up to $100. Awesome. Yep, yep. Jacked up leatherworks in the house right there. So we're at a hundred dollars right now, and y'all have 25 more minutes to get on this. Let's see, let's see if we can at least break 300, guys. Come on, I know y'all can do it. If I went and put it in the Christmas fund, Roger that, Jacob. Yes, sir. On the Christmas fund right there, we're at 941 dollars. 
So if that one comes true, it would definitely put us over a grand, which is where we need to be at minimum to start. Like I said, I want to sponsor at least 20 families for Christmas because we're out 20,000 subs, guys. I don't see why that cannot happen. It'd be pretty awesome, though. What do y'all think? Y'all game for this? Make it happen? All right. Let's see. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger barge. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Jaws is back. Yep. Hey, always around Thanksgiving. It's always around Thanksgiving. Yep. Rearrange my desk over here because it's easier for me to get off here. Yeah, this looks. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey Joseph, if you're listening, man, when you walk in, y'all gonna have to play the Jaws theme song while, it, <laughs> while you're in the, the safety briefing. <laughs> oh man, I hope the guy's all right, but that is that's funny. <laughs> oh man, what's up, Chevy? How you doing, Bob? We are doing our fire drawing. We're at $100. I'm ending it at 7.30. I started it at about 6.25. Gives us about an hour. Big Shark guys, Little Shark want to go eat some people. Little Shark said, yeah, Big Shark. Well, get over there. You gotta swim around them in circles. Little said, okay, so they won't swim over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's up, Chevy? How you doing, bro? So, we are here. Like I said, we got about 23 minutes until the fire run is gone. We've heard some craziness this week. A seven, seven, seven and a half pound pompano. God, that's huge. That they caught. Didn't know it was a state record until after it got filleted. They got pictures of it, but we are waiting. I'll catch this bird. It ain't going to be cheap. Ten dollars Yeah, it's $10. Right, right, yep. When I need new line, I don't got enough. I bet. Hey, Jacob, there's another one. I need to show it to you. And it, it's like 10 times biofreeze. It's really awesome and it's really strong, which is good. Normally too, what I would do with biofreeze is when I would, uh, I'd get it, I would put some uh, latex gloves on. So like I would put it on my hands and then I'll put the latex glove on to make all the aroma and everything sink into my hands. And yes, it does. But uh, the biofreeze, it, it's good, it is. Um, what I like to do is get the roll on one so that way I can just roll it on to wherever I need it and cap it. It actually would last me a lot longer than the spray wood and or the, the gel one. The gel one, I always felt like I was losing out on a bunch of it and stuff, so. Yeah, I used to use BioFreeze a lot when I was kayak uh, shark fishing or kayak baits because uh, my thighs would, they would cramp up so bad from using that Hobie drive. Man, it was bad, real bad. Ben Gardner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's... Bet, bet you he's gonna have a story to write back to the family. So what, how's the fishing down there? Don't do it! Don't do it, they're gonna pull you in. <laughs> oh man. What's up, Roger? How you doing? I'm at work too, boss. Don't feel bad. <laughs> How do you record a record fish if you can't keep the fish bigger than three inches? Video it. Video is one way, or have a certified waymaster with you when it is brought in and you can actually break a world record like that or any kind of record as long as they are with you at that time. Otherwise, how are you gonna rightly prove what it weighs or anything without video and a certified weighmaster with you? 
it, that's the way you do it, guys. Um, like when I finally decide to get a trip to the Outer Banks to go for the world record redfish, I'm definitely going to have a, a Waymaster with me. So that way, once we pull the redfish in, we can, you know, pull it out of the water for, you know, a few seconds to get it weighed up, measured out, and then back into the water. So that way we don't break any rules or anything like that. But yeah, you can take them out to get pictures and then put them right back in and you're good to go. So yeah, and then there, I know there's other ways that even they could uh, weigh a fish by putting it into water or whatever water that they have, like salt water or whatever. And they, when they put it into the, to the tank or whatever, it actually will weigh out the fish. And that would be pretty cool too, so. I don't know exactly how that works, but I've seen it when they do it for the redfish tournaments because they keep the redfish alive for that. And I believe they are also donated to the, uh, the breeding deal that they use for, uh, for replenishing the stocks of redfish here in our local water. So that was the story I heard on that. So that was years ago. I don't know if they still do it. I haven't been to a redfish. Uh, Redfish series way in in a minute, so I don't know. All right, guys, you're at 13 minutes before the fire raffle is over. We're at a hundred dollars. Oh, I forgot to fill in. No, I didn't. I wrote Jack Jacobs ticket. Let me confirm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're at a hundred dollars right now for the fire drawing. And it's going to be over in 13 minutes, guys. What do you mean when you're not a fish for sharks? Well, I still fish for sharks in the winter. It just, it's gotten a little harder to do it since I didn't have a shark rack, but now I got a shark rack. I just got to get my truck fixed. Um, we're going to set it up for next week to go drop on my truck for a few days for them to um, get into the front area of the truck and fix that uh, deal for the 4x4 to start engaging and stuff. Yep. <laughs> what's up, what's up, Edgar? Edgar in the house, what's up? Angel, $120, we're at $120 for the fire rifle. Yes, sir. Let me break these last few weights so I can be done with the grids on this tray, sort of. All right, Angel Lopez. Are you allowed to claim a record in the states to wait on a boat? Can't be weighed on a moving vessel here. I don't know on that, to tell you the truth. Hold on real quick. Hello? That's fine. No. No, no, I think I'm, I'll do some pasta when I get home. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Love you too. Come on. Let's see. All right. Uh, gotta be in Dragon. As I understand, I saw a video where they caught a huge bass record, but no good due to not being on land. Hmm. Well, that is a good one. I, I don't know. I've never weighed a fish on a boat. I've always done it on shore, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. That Man, that's a really good question. I'm going to have to find out about that. I'm taking note right now.
Hmm. That is a really good question. Damn. One of them kind of days. Power for the shipping. Don't send it to me, player for the Christmas. Okay. Uh, that is. Let's see, Angel Lopez. Let me show Angel Lopez your ticket right there. That puts us at $120 right there. And then um, the shipping cost for the knives to get back to us was. Forty-four dollars and sixty cents. I'll just round it up to forty-five. So close to the thousand dollar mark, nine hundred and eighty six dollars and fifty cents. So close, so close. So, you already shutting it down? Yes, sir. You done? Or are you... All right. Right, already. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> he, he, he goes to school, so I try to give him as any hours that he can get and stuff like that. So, pretty cool. All right, here we go. These are going to be one at a time deal. Nice. Mm. Mm. I don't like me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's pretty cool, but it, it has its own. I don't like working night shift during the winter. Just because the wind and all of that come howling through. It just it feels so lonesome. <laughs> That's just me, though. So I don't, I don't really like the cold. Awesome, Jacob. Jacked up letter of the works has just put us over at a thousand dollars for our fundraiser for the Christmas drawing, guys. That is awesome. He just donated another twenty dollars to put us over a thousand, so that makes it a thousand. thousand and six dollars and fifty cents woohoo we broke a thousand all right 19 more thousand to go <laughs> so we are at a thousand and six dollars and fifty cents guys awesome thank you very much Jacob for that that awesome that was the first first goal I wanted to hit was that and we have done it and yep so we've got 11 minutes till this fire drone is over with and tired of reaching down. To grab my weight, so now. Yes, sir. Jacob has come through. Definitely pretty cool. So. Yeah, doing the man, and I tell you what, in the refineries, I used to work offshore, sand blasting and painting on the rigs. Man, they, we would work the night shift there. We would just have the shittiest job out there. You know, we were hydro blasting, or you know, everything was with water. So we were doing that, and or you know, they would blast during the day, and we'd have to go and sweep up the wet sand at night and all of that. And it just talk about cold, miserable conditions. You know. the Jaws comments. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yes, sir, you pulled the jackhammer in and stuff like that? Yes, sir, jackhammer's in. Door lock? 
You too, boss. Thank you very much. I didn't bring an extra bucket. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, the money was good because you'd be gone for so long. You know, I think the longest stretch I did was seven weeks offshore. And it was because my replacement got sick. So because he missed the boat, they didn't want to send him out. Well, the next rotation was my rotation. And I was unwilling to give up my rotation because I was like, I'm already out there, might as well. So I stayed for another, you know. And then we got stranded out there because uh, a storm rolled into the Gulf. So they weren't evacuating anybody. So, yep. Yeah. I bet, yeah. Damn, nine weeks. Woo -wee. What's up, Christopher? We have eight minutes left on our fire raffle. We're at a hundred and twenty dollars and it's gonna be gone, guys. Come on. Let's let's break a couple of hundred bucks. I'd like to shoot for a minimum 300, but we'll see. See how y'all can get it done. Because we had just broke $1,000 on our Christmas donation. That's our first mark. We got several more to go. Like I said, December 15th is the last day we were going to be doing it and stuff. So I was like, who, who just pulled up? I just saw somebody pull up and I forgot that you went to the store. Well, I can get it. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, I think I can. <laughs> Force myself to drink these. Man, that, that beer was broken for you yesterday, man. I, I looked over and I, I think only had one drink. And you already. Well, you were eating. That's why. Yeah, true that. So. <coughs> well, that's so it's obvious. You know, I know money don't sleep. Yep. Extra just case. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> 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 Short arm syndrome, huh? I got a short arm syndrome. I could reach the back, but I couldn't reach the beer. I don't want to pull away because I get that. <laughs> so, in other words, do this. <laughs> Short arm syndrome. 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 Man. Here, here's the other one. Just yeah, that way ain't got to work for it. Well, I put it in the pot in, in the tank too. Yep. Bags. Well, we just broke a thousand dollars for the Christmas drawing. Jacob uh, donated uh, sixty sixty five dollars to basically get us there. So we broke a thousand. Oh, beautiful! And I was gonna talk about it. <laughs> Hey, that's on him, Jacob, not me. You can tell you can tell, da you can tell Daniel he can fire him. <laughs> do you do a video of double make crop shop meters? I actually did one, but uh, I called it a blood knot. And then another buddy further explained it to me, which the blood knot, actually the lines cross each other. But, you know, if you do a drop shot uh, tie up, it's basically the same thing as a blood knot, except the lines go on the same side. So it's a dropper loop kind of deal.
pick a bad time to ask me because I've got about 50 to 60 pounds of lead on my lap right now. And I don't want to set it down because then I'm going to have to re-pick it back up. Give me, give me a little bit. We'll do it after the fire drawing. Only if we can hit $200. <laughs> so that means we need four more of y'all to come in on the fire drawing, guys. I want to break 200 at minimum because, man, this is going to be the smallest fire drawing we've ever had. Come on, guys. Let's get it. Let's see. Nope. The one thing I did like about working night shift was that I always, I was always the last person to be passed out. Because <laughs> I didn't. I'd, I'd drink until the next day. Everybody was all going to sleep at, you know, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm still walking to the fridge grabbing another beer because it's my daytime. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see. Come on, guys. We are at $120. We gotta at least break $200. This can't be our smallest fire drawing. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign. We are at $120, guys. So we need at least four more people to get into the fire raffle so we can at least break $200. I mean, this is. Uh, on here, you can do the. Uh, the super chat where you can pay twenty dollars per ticket and i'll put it under your name here on the youtube channel or you can send it to our cash app uh, team dot or team hard life and we can get it done that way too uh please don't call guys because i don't want to put this bucket bucket of lead down and then have to pick it back up to sit back down so there's angel lopez with another donation on this so that'll take us up to 140 dollars Go. We're at 140 guys. Let's at least break 200. I know we can make it that happen. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The way I'm looking at it, guys, is that 15% that is going to be going to our Christmas drawing right there. Yep. And actually, I can show y'all, I'll show y'all both the blood knot and the dropper loop knot. Like I said, there's only one difference on it. But the dropper loop knot is a pretty cool knot to know because if you're ever in a pinch, that's the knot I have used multiple times that y'all have seen me uh, splice on to a line because we've had to cut the line because one a broke, well, both of them were busted rods. So, yep. <laughs> The brown paper bag. <laughs> Very true. Yep. So, <clears throat> I'm going to keep breaking weight. We got one minute, guys. Come on. Come on. I'm, we'll give it to us so we can get that. What's up, Henry? We're trying to break $200 on here. We are $60 away. Jack the Leatherworks is offered 20% off to whoever can get me past the $200 mark for our fire drawing. I'm just trying to push the fire drawings more because we're getting 15% donated to our Christmas tree, or our Christmas fund right there. So, let's see how this goes, guys. Come on, come on. Everybody's all, Henry, Henry. <laughs> we'll see, we'll give it a few more minutes, guys, because you know what, I'll give it to the end of this bucket. I'm fine. I know my family's fed. They're on the way home. They're good to go. So I got a few more minutes. Let's break this $200, guys. We can't end the night like this at $140. Come on. Come on, $200. Let's do it. Let's see. <clears throat> love Jacob with Jacked Up Leatherworks, man. They are forever got our back. And love it. Y'all haven't been to his channel, y'all need to go check out his Netherworks. He definitely, definitely loves what he does. So 
that's a good thing to, to deal with somebody like that. Cause when they love what they do, man, they, they will really, really put the knowledge in, in there for you. Ouch. What's up? What's up? Let's get it going, guys. Come on. Come on. If y'all can make me get up, it's got to be for at least 200. Uh, see who's going to do it. Let's go scaredies tonight. Don't worry. Y'all won't get pulled in. <laughs> the shark already got away. He, he's not with us anymore. <laughs> There's Brandon and David. What? Oh, come on. I know you can do more than that, David. <laughs> he must have been in a hurry. He only put two dollars. <laughs> yep, yep. Ghost shark pulls in fishermen off a barge. Mr. FTW, I can do that. I can do that. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. That does take us to 200, but I still got half a bucket, so y'all just gonna have to wait, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> FTW. There it is. He corrected it. Got, he got $20 in there. All right, Mr. FTW, right there. There's your three. And let me make a note of that real quick, too. go. Mr. David Bassan has got a ticket, so that'll take us up to $220. All right. Maybe I just had to wait a little longer is what it is. There you go, David. So we are at $220. And we're going to go to this bucket's empty. And I'm, I'm already way down here, guys, so if y'all can see that. So I should be done in probably about five, five maybe ten minutes. Oh, excuse me. The brown paper bag is catching up with me. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Mr. FTW even donated his 20% that Jacob was offering for the person to put us over the $200 mark. And that was Mr. FTW, so whoever wins will also get 20% off their purchase with Jacked Up Leatherworks. Dang it. So not only did the pot get sweetened, it got sweetened. So not only do you win here uh, the prize money here, you will also gain a 20% discount with Jacked Up Leatherworks. That is awesome. <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. So let me reply to this. Henry got us at $40. All right. Beautiful. There you go, Henry. There's your two. So that now takes us up to two hundred and sixty dollars awesome plus a twenty percent discount off of jacked up leatherworks that is awesome see these are the numbers come on guys yeah this is a really sweet pot man that is really awesome so you're giving up you know if you look at it you're giving up 15 but you're getting 20 percent because of the bonus with Jacked Up Leatherworks, our YouTube sponsor here on Team Hard Life. They have been with us since the beginning. And awesome, awesome. Yes, he does. Yes, sir. That, that, and he loves to fish and 
definitely does everything he can. I mean, he, he really does put work out there to help out everybody. So that's really awesome, boss. Yeah. Well, when they say we don't we don't bleed blood, sweat, and tears, man, there's proof, guys. I'm gonna put all fingers out there because I didn't want to just show you the middle one, but yep. I've already hit it twice. Let's see. Yes, sir. Knock this out real quick so we can get on with it. I cut a 30, 38 inch bull red and a 30 inch black tip on Sunday. Oh, that's nice, Henry. How long were you out there, boss? Oh, y'all can't really see the cut then. Well, now it's starting to really get a little bloody there, but it's all right. Do I check the spool for balance? No, I don't, boss. John, John at it again. There we go. That puts us up to $280. Awesome. And, yep, I'm moving down, down in the bucket pretty well. There you go, John. I'm getting it. Thirty-one cents a yard for the Cortland spooled onto your rail. So. Awesome. Okay. And in Port A, they, they caught a seven pound pumpano. They said they, have, they had it weighed out, but they didn't know that it was a potential state record until after they filleted it. That sounds like me and my deal with <laughs> uh, my bull red that was 54 and a half inches. It was a quarter inch longer than the state record and it would have probably beaten it. I would have to say would have because it was fat. It was real fat. And state records go off of weight, not actual length. So, definitely, definitely was a big fish. Yes, sir. That's coming from our buddy Corey, uh, with an E. And, uh, yeah, he said his friend caught it. And uh, they didn't know until after they had already filleted. Oh, you went 28 miles down. How was the driving down there when you got out there? I didn't get to go this. This is the first year that I did not get to go travel the beach during Sharkathon. Even even though I don't fish it, I still love to try, drive the beach to just catch up with a lot of our subscribers and our customers down on the beach. And sometimes I stop and you know offer assistance with knowledge or whatever if I can, you know. But it has been real tough to get down there. Especially with my truck, the way it is. So. Now, Steve Owens, we got a deal. If you buy the 5,000 yard spool, you get 10% off. And then you can spool up your line with us pretty much any time. And you can save a bit of money that way. Nice. I definitely would have to say because of all the rain that we have been having lately, it's probably got the beach nice hard packed. Yeah, we are at $280 on the fire raffle guys. 
big shout out to Jacob with Jacked Up Leatherworks, man. He has done two things for us today. One is helped us get over our thousand dollar mark, our first goal for our Christmas family uh, fundraiser for Christmas toys and stuff. And it's gonna be our Christmas needs is what we're doing it. And then two, also offered a 20% discount off of anything you purchase through him as part of the winners uh, to the person who actually won or got us over the $200 mark. However, Mr. FTW also donated that back into the pot. So whoever wins tonight's pot, you know, right now it's at $280, not only will help out with the Christmas tree, the Christmas fund, will also get a 20% uh, off discount with Jack of Leatherworks. So this is a really cool one, guys. So the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. There you go, Drew. Henry, give me a warning. <laughs> Oh, wow. Did get pulled over by the park ranger as I was leaving. Well, you lucked out on that, man. All right. All right. That I can do. Look at that. It just never ending love from Jacked Up Leatherworks, guys. If y'all have not subscribed to this channel, you'll need to go show him some love. Let him know you, you found it through our channel and he'll probably know who you are as soon as you subscribe anyways if you're proactive on our channel because of your names, guys. Y'all being proactive here really does help us. It helps us really grow. But what, even for our sponsors, they, they watch that. They see how active people are on the channel and how they communicate on there. And, you know, I told them the reason why uh, I have... Uh, gotten away from Facebook is just because of all the, you know, just all the bad people out there. You know, there's, you know, there's no need to be so ugly sometimes and, you know, they get the kicks out of it. I'm sorry. I'm good. I don't need that in my life. Don't need no drama. I'm good. Well, that's, that's if Jacked Up Leatherworks wins this pot. He's promised to donate the funds back into the Christmas fund and then draw another name to win the 20% discount through Jacked Up Leatherworks. So that would be really awesome if he were to win. That would be real cool. So, And you lucked out, Henry. You really did, man. A lot of them Turtle Patrol seasons, man, they are really getting after it and stuff like that. Too, so. And getting there, guys. I really am. I'm almost there. Just because of the timing, what I'll probably do is just uh, break these weights apart so I can get it off my lap and then we can go, and go ahead and do the drawing. But yeah, it's been, I haven't completely left, but I have left a lot. Like I said, with y'all guys, man, it, I really don't see no reason in dealing with Facebook, but I do occasionally go on there just to see if I can help somebody show them, show them the path. You know, it's up to them to follow. They do, cool. If not, then I don't worry about it. Uh, but they'll, they'll all learn soon enough, guys. We've got big hearts here. Lots of knowledge to learn and to share, and we're willing to do it, so. Damn. Getting too deep, I couldn't reach the weights. I was, I was tippy-toeing with my, my foot on the bucket, and. Now my foot's asleep. <laughs> so, almost there, guys. Okay, I'm going to move these over. Oh, I got a second tray under there. Ta -da! That's some weight in that tray for sure. Hey, there's a 
another bonus right there, guys. Look at that. We're only one ticket away from hitting $300. So if y'all want 30% off with Jacked Up Leatherworks, y'all got to get us into the $300. Dang. Shoot. Damn it. I'm thinking, hey Jacob, I got an idea, boss. On any of these fire drawings, say we were to hit a thousand, a thousand dollars on one of these drawings, I'd be willing to put in fifty percent of whatever it costs for them to buy, make a purchase from you. Uh, yes, it did. Give me a second. Let me see. We're at three hundred dollars right there for Emmanuel. Sure did, got it. And I'm responding right now. Manuel, there you go. That puts us at $300. And I'm almost ready, guys. Y'all got a few more minutes to go before I'm done with this bucket. And <clears throat> you know what, I'm gonna have to some of these weights over here because soon I'm gonna have to Having to move the weights over because my pile for the broken stuff is over overtaken. I didn't think of, I didn't I didn't pre-plan for this. I should have had an extra bucket, but I'll have one as soon as I get all these threes out of here because I can just carry them back in the tray. This would give me a great idea of how much threes we have poured out. We need 200 pounds of three ounce pyramids for the two orders that we got going out. And we're trying to knock this out by Friday. And again, too, like I said, guys, this is only this weight. That didn't include all the other sizes that they did purchase as well. So. Uh, I don't know. Are you game for it? Let's get that one started, boss. Yep, so I don't know if y'all heard that right, guys. For these fire drawings from now until December 15th, that does not include the Christmas drawing, because that one I know is gonna get over a thousand, no worries. But those that's already a big, big prize already. But any of these weekly fire drawings, if they go over a thousand dollars, I will give y'all a 50% off coupon with Jacked Up Leatherworks on any of his products there. And we'll go from there. We started a fire drawing tonight, and this is the way it evolved. Um, I was going to cut it off at 7.30, but 
I put this bucket of grapes on my lap, and at that time, we were only at like $160. So, Jacob from Jacked Up Leatherworks made a proposition, if we can get to $200, whoever got us there would get a 20% discount off of anything they purchased through him. So as that went through, Mr. FTW came through and got us up to the $200 mark. So he was gonna get the 20% off, but instead chose to donate it back to whoever wins tonight. Or So on that note, Jacob, who's also in the fire drawing, said if he won to donate his funds to the Christmas uh, fundraiser we have, and then to draw a secondary ticket to give away a 20% discount to a winner here in the channel. So, or on the drawing. Well, <clears throat> we were coming up to 300 and Jacob also said if we hit $300, he'll give you a 30% or the winner, a 30% discount if we can get over $300. So, whoever wins tonight not only donates 15% to the, to the charity fund, they also win a 30% coupon to Jacked Up Leatherworks right now because we're at $300. Yeah, $300. So, yeah. Yes, sir. No, and, that, and that's, this is a lot of the reason why I got away from Facebook, guys. I was looking for, for this kind of support there, and it just, it wasn't, it wasn't there, guys. There's just too many people in their feelings and stuff, and you know what? I'm in my feelings, but I'm in my feelings for the right reason, and the right reason is this right here, what's going on, the com camaraderie that's being built between all of us from all levels of our life to help each other out with what we can, you know? So I'm definitely game for this. And also too, what has also evolved, if we can reach over a thousand dollars on any of the fire drawings, I'm gonna donate a 50% coupon to use at Jacked Up Leatherworks. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Ah, there we go. Uh, we'll see, we are at $300 right now, guys. I got about 20, maybe 25 weights left to clean, and then we will do the drawing. So y'all still have a small window to get in on this. Um, you can cash that and or do through the super chat to get us there. The super chat is what I would really hope y'all would do because it's just easier to confirm that way, but I'm fine either way with the cash app or that one. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm real close to that. Dang it. Well, Cobra, you've got great credit with us, Scott, boss. If you are willing to to put it on that, I would be willing to help you out with that. I got uh, Mr. FTW on the credit line right now, so if you would like to, we can set you up on that as well. I mean, you've come through a lot of times, bro. We, I, I got to trust you, man. you down for that one. Let's see. Oh man. It's going around. I almost lost my wallet the other day, but luckily I found it at the house where I hid it. <laughs> Alright, Cobra, there you are. There's your ticket for tonight's drawing. And that puts us at $320, and I got about 12 more weights, guys. And then this drawing will be over. So y'all got a little window getting on this.
down below, guys. A little small window. Dang it. What kind of ID do you have that would cost 300 bucks? right there. Us. There's your ticket for tonight. That puts us at $340 plus a 30% discount through Jacked Up Leatherworks. That is awesome. We're still going, guys. We've got about 10 more weights or so. Yeah, about 10 more. So, as soon as I'm done with the weights, we're done with the drawing. Go on. Remember one time I lost my wallet or misplaced my wallet. I lost it. I couldn't find it for about two weeks. And everybody searched my car, my family, police officers, three of them, mind you, <laughs> were looking through it and stuff like that. I didn't find it. And uh, when I was about to go start applying for jobs, I opened up my door and it's sitting right there. Amazing, amazing. All right, guys, drawing is over. We're at $340 right there. So let's go and move it to the next room. If I got some space over there, yes, I do. Oh, man. And that was only one bucket of weights, guys. Let me give you a little rundown. That was completely empty. That one's halfway full. That one is finished and cleaned. That I still have to do the fine tune so you can see all the weight that's kind of left over on there. And yeah, my countertop is it's getting organized. It is getting organized. So, yeah, should be fine. Oh, let's see here. Let's do this way. sort through this because I'm definitely trying to get away from uh, having tackle just everywhere and stuff. So. Alright guys, let me get back on here. Okay, 
No, I did not get to go fishing. Uh, by the time I made my delivery, it was real late in the afternoon, so I did not get to. And then I also figured out that my uh, 4x4 does not engage because the front uh, actuator solenoid is not working. So we found that out, and luckily we found it out right here near the beach where I was able to get pulled out. And then, hey, we're at 320. I thought it was 340. Maybe, oh, look, hold on, hold on. Ta da! See, Captain's got some magic. <laughs> so, alright, here we go. Give you all a little close up. Make sure they're all good to go. Yep. So there's the tickets, guys. I'm zoomed in real quick. Hi, man. Yeah, I'll still sell a ticket, boss, because today I didn't I didn't finish off as quickly as I should. So make it quick while we're doing this, and I can show your ticket while everybody's confirming or tickets. So come on. There we go, guys. So the winner tonight not only will win, you know, the pot plus a 30% discount, which is twice the amount of that. Let me go and get this ticket sorted real quick, guys. Well, I'll go get it from there and I'll bring it over here. takes us up to $360. There you go. There's for Hyman right there. Oh, okay. There you go. A better way, I don't know if it's making any difference. Alright guys, we're at $360. Let me get my float. My raffle pot. Where's my raffle pot at? There it is. Good luck everybody. Remember, tonight's pot also comes with a 30% discount with jacked up leatherworks on anything you purchase there. And if jacked up leatherworks wins, a second per person will be drawn for the 30% discount with jacked up leatherworks. Let's get back to it. Good luck, good luck. That is a 50 EXW2 speed. I've got an 80 over there in the, the deal. Two are fighting, two are fighting. Okay, I'm down to one ticket. There we go. Let's try to turn it around without dropping it. It is... They were fighting like I couldn't get one of the tickets out of there. 028053. Zero two eight zero five three, and it is Brandon Lacroix. Congratulations! Awesome. 
So, Brandon, you have won $340 minus the 15%. Plus a 30% discount with Jacked Up Leatherworks. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the other workbench where I can figure out the math on this. Oh, no, it's 360, not 340. 360, boss. Sorry. Oh, hold on. Got too many things in my hands right now. It's actually $360, sorry, because the last ticket that came through with uh, Hymek got us in there for $360. Awesome. Awesome. And let me get the paper started quick. I just saw the go Brandon. <laughs> oh man. All right, Brandon. Um, do me a favor, boss. Call me real quick so I can confirm your phone number. And yep. Oh, let me figure out your math real quick for you. 360 minus 15. $54. So you have a $306 credit here at the shop. And we added $54 to the pot. Alright. Our lives bait and tackle. All right, boss, I'm gonna step away from the camera real quick so you can put in what needs to be said, just so I can confirm it real quick. Yes, sir. Yeah, and do it, do it, do it on uh, YouTube right now, and then I can get yourself on it. Yeah, just so I can confirm it's you. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, man. The Astros. Oh, man. I'm going to have to give my, one of my workers some credit because he must have not been able to find his Astros jersey. That's why they're losing tonight. <laughs> Got it. All right. What's your phone number, boss? All right, boss. So we've got you confirmed now. And yeah, I had to do a little shout out to Jacked Up Leatherworks, one of our YouTube sponsors. You know, that's why I did it like that. So, <laughs> yes, sir. Oh wow, okay. Uh, what size would you like? I want to check. I will check. Let me give me a second, okay? This would be pretty cool, especially since we're live. Yes, 
so I don't have a 2x. I got small, extra small, extra large, large, and a flat. Yes, but. Yes, sir. That it is. That, that, that's why we're here. So, wow. Well, thank you again, Brandon, and congratulations on your win and for the donation. That's awesome. Yes, sir. You too, Brandon. All right. Bye -bye. All right, guys. So, we were looking for a shirt because what he wants to do is buy a shirt and then donate the rest to the Christmas fund. However, while I was going through that, he said, you know what, I'll just pay for the shirt on Friday and we'll make all the donation to the Christmas fund. So not only did he, the 15% go there, he donated the rest, which is $306. So that now takes us, I wish I had a drum roll, but I don't, not that fancy yet. So that takes us up to $1,364.50. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is so awesome, guys. Look at that. We're at 1364. Woohoo! Golly. Awesome. Thank you, Brandon. That is. Man, I'm so glad I stayed over. Like, I really am, guys. Y'all are so awesome here. <laughs> so that is awesome wow I, I, I'm kind of speechless right now I'm kind of blown away that's 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 awesome and uh, again Brandon uh, prayers going out to you and your family I know this is something that spoke to you and I'm glad it, it came through I really am so beautiful 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 so all right guys I am done for the night well not really done for the night but i am gonna make it an early night because i did get out of here crazy late last night but i do have three more buckets of weights to break and those threes are probably gonna be the pain but the twos are probably the easiest but um i definitely don't like breaking the pyramids apart the way i had to do today but i got it done got it done and we had an awesome awesome <laughs> uh, i mean I, i'm still kind of speechless that's pretty awesome super fire drawing tonight guys uh thank you everybody for helping us out jacked up leatherworks ross you are you are totally awesome so that's why i had to do that little shout out like that that was a good way to say thank you and like i said guys if y'all haven't checked out jacked up leatherworks go give him a shout out give him a thumbs up check out his videos he's got he's very knowledgeable on the leather and has a lot to share with y'all guys so all right guys oh daniel's back <laughs> daniel missed all the fun so Yep. <laughs> I'll drink to that one. Cheers, Brandon. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Thank you very much for uh, checking us out. Be sure to get hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications because we always have. We don't really always know when we're going to go live or when we're going to post videos, but we are working through it. Um, as you can tell, you know, I don't mind getting dirty. I don't mind working at all. Um, do what I need to do to make it right. So y'all have a good one. I'll check y'all later.